Okay, everyone, <clears throat> this is one of two videos for the 1970 VW Bus Campmobile Edition. So uh, the first video is going to be basically just a walk around video of the interior and the exterior. And then the second video will be of a short test drive from where I am currently to where I'm going to park this for sale locally. So um, just a quick view of the dash. You got a couple cracks over the handle right there. But all in all, the dash is in pretty good shape. The gauges are not functional. Um, I'm sure based on the wiring that people have been at have attempted in this vehicle there are probably some electrical uh, issues that need to be taken care of the stereo does work um, but does not hold any stations again I believe because of the wiring um, so uh, we'll just pan around um, you got a missing uh, speaker on the door card here, but the door cards on both sides are in pretty good shape the Seats are the vinyl is stained, but uh, no major rips or Holes in either of the two front seats um, The rubber mat in front is in very good shape. Um, just needs a little shining. You've got carpet uh, That I'm sure someone has added at some point um, all the way through so yeah a little bit of you got some surface rust underneath the mat there a um, little bit of rusting there in the wheel well there has been some repairs made right there um, but there's the front right wheel well some more rust right there um, interior your um, bench seat in the back here does fold down um, to make a basically full-size bed your table right here does fold down to open that up you've got a 120 volt outlet that does work I did plug that in from the outside and tested it um, you have your sink which I have no idea if it works or does not work um, I know the drain pipe does go down through the bottom of the camper, so you could, in theory, just pour water into it and use it that way. Uh, you got a, a couple of manuals there, um, some storage. You got storage over here. You've got hangers to hang stuff up on. And then you've got storage underneath, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that comes with the camper. Um, here's your ice chest. I call it an ice chest because I'm pretty sure this is never meant to be an actual refrigerator Although I don't know if someone could make it into a fridge um, But it's reasonably clean and doesn't smell so that's a big thing then you've got fold-out table here And you know all in all I mean the interior is reasonably nice a lot of the trim like this needs to be replaced but the cabinets themselves and the tabletops and stuff like that are in pretty good condition. So your headliner, which was like a Luan plywood, is pretty rough. Um, I don't know if because the pipe for the sink was pulled and now there's just some tape, I've replaced that myself. Um, but I don't know if it was leaking there, but uh, it definitely needs some attention your interior light right there does work when the two front doors are opened um, so here's your sill right here um, not in terrible shape so there's your Westphalia badge right there and then over here is your camp mobile badge and then in the front right here is your actual ID tag right there so um, that's pretty much it for the interior although I will okay. well, let's see I don't know why that's doing that 
Hold on a second. I'm going to set the camera down. Let's see if I can figure this out.